Hey, how's it going? I'm Nate, an Apple enthusiast and Mac hardware technician. Today, we're going to look at how we can plug your iPad into your Mac OS X. The Mac OS X is just the operating system that your Apple computer is running. First thing we're going to want to do is separate the power supply from the USB cable that you got with your iPad. If you didn't know, they separate, so that way you can plug this into USB 2.0 on your physical computer. So let's go ahead and do that. With the other end, just like you used to charge it, we want to plug it into the actual iPad. Now, once you plug it into the computer, only a couple applications are going to actually recognize your iPad. One of them is iTunes, and the other one is iPhoto. The reason you would use iPhoto is if you had taken any pictures with your actual iPad and wanted to import them into your computer. If you want to sync up some media you might have, like music, movies, or previous applications, we want to look at iTunes to do that for you. So let's go ahead and open iTunes. When in iTunes, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that it says iPad. Go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, there's going to be a range of options and different tabs on the top. The first one's called Summary and just gives you information about your iPad as a whole, such as the space that you're using and the version of the software it's running. This is also where you'd be able to restore if you had any problems with your iPad. The second tab over is the Info. This is where you're going to be able to sync up things like your contacts, calendar events, or email accounts that you already have on your Mac OS X. One to the right is going to be applications. This is where you can decide how to organize the apps, possibly place them in folders, or possibly delete the ones you don't use anymore. After that, we have music. You can decide to just sync your favorite playlist or everything if you don't have that much. This is also the section where you'll find movies. If you have your own movies, you can add them on here, and iTunes also gives you the chance to rent them or buy them. Same with the TV shows. If you have them, feel free to sync them up. The next tab is about your photos. Let's say you have a digital camera that you normally use, but you want to sync those photos to your iPad to show your family and friends. This is where you would import those photos onto your actual iPad. The last tab is about the stuff you already have on your iPad. So sync away and you should be able to see everything there. This has been learning how to connect your iPad to Mac OS X. Thanks for listening and we'll see you soon.